Welcome to this brief video on Iridex's suite management software. This software is unique to the Cyclo G6 laser and use of the Micropulse P3 Pro to deliver Micropulse transscleral laser therapy to patients with glaucoma. In this video, you'll learn about the importance of sweep speed and the features of the sweep management software. Based on the science of advanced tissue modeling, peer-reviewed literature, and findings from the Micropulse TLT International Consensus, Steady sweep velocity is an important treatment variable to achieve safe and effective clinical outcomes. The slower the Micropulse P3 probe is swept during treatment, the longer the laser energy dwells and is absorbed in the underlying tissue. Here, the tissue temperature increase is illustrated in relation to the placement of the Micropulse P3 probe. And shown in this image of advanced tissue modeling, you can see that a fast sweep of the Micropulse P3 probe causes minimal temperature rise. As the sweep speed is slowed, tissue temperature increases. The goal is to safely achieve the desired clinical effect without under or over treatment. The tools of sweep management software help the physician maintain a steady and consistent chosen sweep velocity. Features of the sweep management software include procedure-specific screens, tones, and a summary of patient treatment. When the Micropulse P3 probe is connected to the Cyclo G6 laser, a screen appears that confirms the delivery device and default parameters. Select either OK to load these parameters and adjust them based on your preferred treatment settings for your patient, or select Cancel to retain the settings used in your prior Micropulse TLT treatment. Regardless of selecting OK or Cancel, this screen will appear as a reminder of the eye safety requirements when performing laser treatment. This is the standby screen. Program your treatment settings either manually by using the control knobs or by choosing one of 10 presets after the presets have been programmed to your desired settings. Treatment settings include the duration per sweep. Setting options in this field range from 5 to 40 seconds in 5 second increments. Power settings range from 0 to 3000 milliwatts in 10 milliwatt increments. And the settings in the sweeps per segment field range from 1 to 10 in 1 sweep increments. A segment can be defined as either a hemisphere or a quadrant based on the physician's preferred delivery method. In this example, a segment is defined as a quadrant. For demonstration, let's program a 10 second sweep, 2,500 milliwatts of power, and four sweeps per segment. The software multiplies the duration per sweep setting and the sweeps per segment setting to calculate the total duration per segment, which is displayed in the treat screen. In this example, the total duration will be 40 seconds. This icon represents the treatment summary. Select it to view the parameters used and the total segments, duration, and number of sweeps of your last treatment. These values are cumulative until reset and close is selected. Before starting a new treatment, confirm that the values have been reset to zero. These icons represent illumination and aiming beam adjustments. Simply press the icons and use the right control knob to adjust the aiming beam illumination. Use the left control knob to adjust the illumination for when the Iridex illuminating G-probe device is connected to the Cyclo G6 laser. Select OK to return to the standby screen. Lastly, select options to adjust sound settings. Press on the top bar to activate the sound adjustment options. The software allows you to adjust two types of sound. One is the laser firing sound, and the other is the various system sounds, including clock ticks and tone notifications during the treatment. When delivering Micropulse TLT, it is recommended that system sounds are set louder than the laser firing tone. The left control knob adjusts the volume of the system sounds. The right control knob adjusts the volume of the laser firing tone. Select OK to close this screen and return to the standby screen. 
you're now ready to treat. To enter treat mode, press on this button to enable the laser. This is the treat screen. There are no user adjustable fields on this screen. The treat screen displays the information previously programmed in the standby screen. Here is the sweep duration remaining field. This field tracks the progress of a single sweep by showing the remaining time on the stopwatch. This field automatically resets after each sweep. In addition, the green bar tracks the remaining time. A single audible tone is played at the halfway point of a sweep, and a double tone at the beginning of the next sweep. Here is the current sweep field. It displays the total sweeps that were programmed for a segment, and the current sweep being performed for that segment. Here is the total seconds remaining field. It displays the calculated total segment duration based on the program duration per sweep and the sweeps per segment. And to the left of the total segment duration is an automatic countdown showing the total seconds remaining. The laser will stop firing when this value reaches zero. As a reminder, the selected power is displayed here. The features on the treat screen help physicians match their desired sweep velocity while sweeping the Micropulse P3 probe back and forth over a given segment. The sweep management software offers a disciplined and reproducible approach of delivering Micropulse TLT. When treatment of a segment is complete, this stopwatch will change into a button icon that reads, Next Segment. Press on the button to reset all treatment variables to their starting values. Let's treat two quadrants so you can see how this all comes together. After treatment is delivered to the desired segments and the treatment is complete, press this button to return to the standby screen. Select the treatment summary to view the history of the most recent treatment. In this example, total segments treated were two. The total duration was 80 seconds, and the total number of sweeps was eight. The program treatment parameters are displayed here. Log this information in your records, Press Reset and Close and disengage the laser. You've now completed and documented a Micropulse TLT treatment. This video provides highlights of the sweep management software. Before patient treatment, please refer to the user guide and the laser console operator manual. Additional information may be found at iridex.com backslash academy. You may contact your local area sales manager, distributor, or email Iridex at info at iridex.com.